Here, uh, I recently bought this pretty neat old conversion van. It's a 1992. It's a Southwest preserved van. No rust. A few little dings here and there and rub marks, but uh, it's got a kind of a purple interior. I'm going to try to do something about that, but she's pretty neat and I think it's a keeper. Uh, one thing about vehicles that they always seem to go cheap on is uh, sound deadening. So I'm going to show you what two pieces of this stuff uh, did to the door here. I left one door undone and the other door has been treated. I might put a few more little pieces in there, but it's, it's pretty much to where it's going to be. Uh, this is kill mat. It's 80 mil. It's the thicker of the two sizes or thicknesses they sell. Uh, this is a, a 10 by 15 inch piece, I believe. So there's two pieces in this door. Uh, the, I'm going to put two or maybe two and a quarter in the other door. It's slightly larger. Uh, these vans, the doors aren't symmetrical. One's a little bigger. Anyway, so this is the one door. And I'm just going to thump on it. If I close the doors, they lock and also they're noisier when they're open. Uh, if that makes sense. If you slam the door, it's attached to the car and doesn't make quite as much noise. It's pretty close though, but anyway, so I'm going to thump on that door. You can see that. Now, if you go over to this door, it's like a tin can, right? You get an idea and go back to this door and it's kind of a like wooden sound. And this stuff is it's not terribly heavy. We're talking <laughs> a half a pound of material on a, on a vehicle, especially a van. This isn't a race car, it's not an airplane. Who cares? Uh, noise really gets to me. I don't know. I think it gets a lot of people. They just don't realize it. If you sit in a car for eight hours driving across country and... Uh, the difference between a quiet car and a loud one is a big deal. Uh, I'm a pilot. Um, I, I spent big money on noise-canceling headphones just for that very reason. Because, man, after five hours sitting in the seat, going into a strange airport, uh, if something comes up that you need 100% of your attention, you don't want to be fatigued and dreary and punch drunk from noise. Uh, and all that you want to be on your a game so anyway uh, that's my spiel on this stuff it's for 50 bucks you can get a big box of this stuff enough to do probably two of these vans very thoroughly uh, it's well worth it so anyway if, if one of you people are out there tearing your van apart go ahead and go this extra step because uh, I'll go ahead and close the door I'll have to unlock it these darn things automatically lock Okay, so here you go. You got there. You go. You can tell the difference. Pretty obvious. Uh, spend the extra fifty dollars on your van. You'll thank me later. <laughs> uh, I've got a bus that I've done, and uh, I've, I'm approaching the nine decibel level of noise reduction, which is just dramatic. Uh, it's about one-fourth the normal or the old noise level. You can speak comfortably at, at road speeds before you had to yell back and forth to each other if you had a pastor in there. Uh, I was wearing ear protection while driving. Now it's it's very comfortable. And of course it was a much, much bigger vehicle. It cost $250 and it was probably a, a couple three days of work but uh, solid work. I did it in little bits and pieces. But, uh, again, uh, big difference. And you multiply that by, you know, 20 or 30 times the surface area I've already done here, and you'll get an idea. But I'm going to be taking the doors, the interiors of the doors out, and uh, a large part of the interior out of this thing, and I'm going to be soundproofing it as I go. And, uh, anyway, that's my spiel. Thanks for watching.